so in this short video we will discuss about conduction with heat generation so when we discuss about conduction with heat generation we will start from the basic conduction equation and then we will try to solve the differential equation so so this is the problem that we have this is a slab this is the conducting slab and the uh, heat which is this q dot this q dot is the watt per meter cube that is heat generated per unit volume heat generated per unit volume the dimension of q dot is watts per meter cube the walls are at temperature t1 and t2 and uh, this is the x axis this is the x axis and this is uh, negative l this is positive l so now uh, the differential equation the differential equation that we will have for such a problem is to be brought right from the start that is uh, we know that the general conducting equation the general conduction equation looks somewhat like this plus q dot by k equals rho cp by k times dt dt this is the derivative of temperature with respect to time so this is the general conduction equation now we will impose certain constraint on this like the problem which we are discussing we will take this as a steady state problem this will be a steady state problem so as we are assuming this to be steady state hence this entire part will become zero also this is a one dimension problem we will only consider this x axis so this term this uh, this term will become this term in general is actually del square t del x square plus del square t del y square plus del square t del z square this is this term but we don't need this two because it's a one dimension problem so this will become del square t del x square plus q dot by k equals zero so this is the differential equation that we get this is the differential equation that we get if you are wondering from where i got this main equation this is the general conduction equation i will put the link to this video where i have derived this equation right from the beginning so this is what we obtain now if we solve this equation solve this equation what i will obtain is temperature as a function of x the solution will be tx that is temperature as a function of x equals this will be equal to q dot which is the heat generated per unit volume times l square times l square divided by divided by 2k 1 minus x square by l square plus t2 minus t1 divided by 2 times x by l plus t1 plus t2 divided by 2 i am not showing the solution how i am getting this from this because it is mathematically rigorous what is important is the end result that i will obtain the end result will be something like this that is in this equation what we will do is for this situation where the walls the walls are at temperature t1 and t2 and we have the heat generation the equation is something like this that is the profile tx equals to q dot l square by 2k 1 minus x square by l square plus t2 minus t1 by 2 into x by l plus t1 plus t2 by 2 this equation this equation is the profile for this case so but in most of the cases what we encounter is they will give this t1 and this t2 will be same that is they will give a single surface temperature they will give a single surface temperature and they will ask to calculate the temperature profile so i have shown this one just to give you an idea of how this equation is coming the most important thing is what i am going to derive now which is for this case it is given that the surface temperatures are equal which is ts heat generation is taking place which is q dot this is watt per meter meter cube from this uh, from this slab uh, this is again x direction so now what will be the uh, temperature profile in this case so in this equation if i just put t1 equals to t2 then what i will get will be for this case so if i put t1 equals to t2 equals to ts then what will i get so over here this term will become zero because t2 minus t1 will be zero if t1 equals to t2 now what i get is tx equals to tx equals to q dot l square by 2k q, q dot l square by 2k 
लाइक दिस इंटू वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाई एल स्क्वायर वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाई एल स्क्वायर नाउ इन दिस टर्म दिस टर्म विल बी जीरो बट दिस टर्म विल स्टे सो दिस विल बी टी वन प्लस टी टू बाई टू बट एस टी वन इक्वल्स टू टी टू इक्वल्स टू टी एस सो दिस वन विल बिकम सिंपली टी एस प्लस टी एस बाई टू विच इज नथिंग बट ओनली टी एस सो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस इज वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो नोइंग दिस प्रोफाइल नाउ आई कैन ड्रॉ द टेम्परेचर प्रोफाइल विच विल बी अ पैराबोला दिस विल बी अ parabolic profile this will be a parabolic profile now what will be the maximum temperature the maximum temperature will occur at x equal to 0 so at x equal to 0 if i put x equal to 0 over here what will i get q dot l square by 2k plus ts this will be the maximum temperature within the slab this will be the maximum temperature within the slab so this is what is important this case is most important i have shown this previous one this one i have shown just to introduce the problem but this is not that important what is important is this case and these two equations these two equations now we will solve problems but before solving problem i would want to share one more thing so sometimes during exam they may ask heat generation with one side perfectly insulated so for this uh, we will have something like this this side is perfectly insulated and suppose the temperature on the other side is ts this is the wall temperature on the other side then what will be the profile the profile will be exactly the same that you have seen earlier that is this case this case it is just one side is cut half and the other side will be of this format the equation will also be same that is this one so this is one thing that i wanted to clear because there is nothing new in this it is just one side is absent from this figure and the other side is prevailing so this is what we have so remember that whenever they mention heat generation heat generation and uh, heat generation then always the profile will be parabolic whenever it is heat generation then the profile will be parabolic like this so this is the equation now we will discuss another thing this is another case suppose heat generation with one side perfectly insulated and convection on one side so this side is perfectly insulated this side is perfectly insulated just like the above case and this is at ts but in this case they are saying that one side is undergoing convection that is consider a fluid is flowing from this side and the temperature of this fluid that is the ambient is t infinity is t infinity now uh, we can consider that the heat transfer coefficient is h so what how will we implement how will we calculate this ts so this ts can be calculated knowing these two things the profile will look same the profile will be like this but how will this equation change that is this one how will this equation change so this will remain same this will remain same in this case that is in this case i can write tx tx equals to that is the temperature profile will be same q dot l square divided by 2k divided by 2k times 1 minus x square by l square plus ts this will be same but how do we calculate this ts suppose this ts is not given they have only given that the side which is undergoing convection that is this side this side so fluid is flowing they have given the temperature of the fluid and they have given the heat transfer coefficient they haven't given this ts but we need this ts in order to find the profile so what is the relation between ts and this t infinity this is given as ts ts is equal to t infinity which is the temperature of this fluid which is undergoing convection on this side plus q dot l divided by h so with this equation with this equation we can easily calculate this ts and hence we again know the temperature profile so these were the important cases that i had just discussed so now with this we will solve a problem and so before starting the problems this last thing that i would like to discuss is conduction in heat generating radial systems so this is similar to the above discussion so i thought i would discuss it right now so suppose this is a cylinder this is a cylinder and heat is being generated over here which is q dot now the wall is at a temperature ts this wall is at a temperature ts so what will be the temperature profile the temperature profile will be tr which is the radius this is the uh, radius r so this is the variable tr equals to q dot r not whole square divided by 
फोर के टाइम्स वन माइनस आर स्क्वायर बाय आर नॉट स्क्वायर प्लस टी एस सो दिस इज द प्रोफाइल सो इफ यू लुक क्लोजली इट इज नथिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर दैट इज दिस वन फॉर प्लेन वॉल व्हाट वी हैड वी हैड अ टू ओवर हियर एंड इन दिस केस ओनली दिस टू बिकम्स अ फोर दैट इज द ओनली थिंग विच हैज चेंज्ड रेस्ट एवरीथिंग इज सेम दिस वॉट इज आर नॉट आर नॉट इज द रेडियस ऑफ दिस सिलिंडर दिस इज आर नॉट एंड वॉट इज आर आर इज द वेरिएबल डिस्टेंस दैट इज द वेरिएबल रेडियस फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द सिलिंडर सो आर दिस आर इज द वेरिएबल एंड दिस आर नॉट इज द आर नॉट इज द रेडियस ऑफ द एक्चुअल रेडियस ऑफ द सिलिंडर सो एवरीथिंग इज सेम एक्सेप्ट दिस इज अ देयर विल बी अ फोर एंड इन द अब केस दैट इज फॉर प्लेन वॉल वी हैड अ टू ओवर हियर सो सिमिलर केस फॉर नाउ इफ दे से दैट अ फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग अ फ्लूड इज फ्लोइंग विथ टेम्परेचर टी इन्फिनिटी एंड द हीट ट्रांसफर कोविशियंट एज एच देन हाउ विल बी कैलकुलेट टी एस सो इट विल बी सिमिलर टू द वन दैट वी हैड डिस्क्राइब अर्लियर टी एस विल बी इक्वल टू टी इन्फिनिटी टी एस इक्वल्स टू टी इन्फिनिटी प्लस क्यू डॉट आर नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई टू एच सो वॉट इज द चेंज In the above case, what we had, T s equals to T infinity. This is for the plane wall. T s equals to T infinity plus Q dot L by H. So no two was present over here, but in this case we have a two. In this case we have a two. Here we had just one. That is Q dot L by H, and here we are having a two. So this is the only change that we obtained. So if you remember the formulas for uh, plane wall, simply just multiply two at the bottom of this equation of this equation if you multiply 2 over here you will get this one and if you multiply a 2 in this case you will get this one so these two equations you no need to memorize knowing for the plane wall we can also do for radial systems now we will start solving the problem this is the question that we have they have given a wall they have given a wall and uh, heat generation is taking place so they have given the equation tx equals to q dot l square by 2k 1 minus x square by l square plus ts they have given t infinity which is this ambient temperature they have given biot number they have given ts which is this temperature now they are asking to find t max so firstly where will t max occur t max will occur at x equal to zero because this is parabolic so this is the place where we will get the maxima so to calculate t max we need to put t at x equals to zero which is x equals to zero in this equation so what will we obtain q dot l square by 2k so this x becomes zero plus ts so this is what we have now ts i already know this is 350 so this becomes q dot l square by 2k plus 350 so this is the term that i need to calculate then i will get t max so what is given biot number is given what is biot number biot number is h l by k this is given as 0.5 so this is given to me also i know i know that t s equals to t infinity plus from this equation i know that t s equals to t infinity plus q dot l by h so here i can write q dot l by h this is what i have so i can use this equation which is uh, ts equals to t infinity plus q dot l by h i can use this equation as as i know ts and t infinity ts is 350 it is given to us that ts is 350 and t infinity is 300 so this becomes 350 minus 300 equals to q dot l by h so q dot l by h this is equal to 50 this i know and also what i know i know h l by k is 0.5 these two things i know so knowing these two things i need to calculate q dot l square by 2k so q dot l square uh, by 2k can be written as q dot l square by 2k this can be written as q dot l q dot l by h times q dot l by h times l by 2k uh, l by 2k but this h is not present so into h so if you calculate this this both side is true h h will get cancelled so this is q dot l square by 2k this is just another fancy way of writing the same thing so what is this i have written it in this terms because i know these terms q dot l by h is 50 times what is h l by k so this 1 by 2 will be over here because of this 2 and h l by k is simply the biot number which is given to us which is 0.5 so what will this be this is 10 so uh, 
फाइव टू टू सो फिफ्टी बाई फोर फिफ्टी बाई फोर विच इज ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई टू इट इज टुएल्व पॉइंट फाइव सो क्यू डॉट एल स्क्वायर बाई टू के इज टुएल्व पॉइंट फाइव सो नाउ आई नो दिस टर्म्स सो दिस क्यू डॉट एल स्क्वायर बाई टू के दिस इज टुएल्व पॉइंट फाइव एंड टी एस वॉट इज टी एस टी एस इज थ्री फिफ्टी सो थ्री फिफ्टी प्लस टुएल्व पॉइंट फाइव वॉट विल बी द टी मैक्स सो टी मैक्स इज टी मैक्स टी और टी एट जीरो दिस इज इक्वल टू टी मैक्स दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू टुएल्व पॉइंट फाइव प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी विच इज नथिंग बट इक्वल्स टू विच इज टू सिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सो द आंसर इज टी मैक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव केलविन विच इज द टेम्परेचर एट द सेंटर दिस टेम्परेचर दिस टी एस इज दिस टी एस इज थ्री फिफ्टी केलविन दिस इज थ्री फिफ्टी केलविन एंड दिस इज थ्री सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव केलविन सो दिस इज वॉट द आंसर इज सो दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दिस टाइप द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आर आई विल मैंशन द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वॉन्स अगेन दिस इक्वेशन इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस इक्वेशन एंड दिस इक्वेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट अलॉन्ग विथ दिस इक्वेशन विच इज द एम्बियंट टेम्परेचर अंडर गोइंग द कन्वेक्शन एंड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सर्फेस सो एंड इफ आई रिमेम्बर इफ यू रिमेम्बर द इक्वेशन फॉर द प्लेन वॉल यू कैन इजिली कन्वर्ट दैम फॉर रेडियल सिस्टम्स बाई सिम्पल मल्टीप्लीकेशन विथ टू ऑन द डिनोमिनेटर दैट इज दिस टर्म एंड दिस टर्म ओवर हियर आई हैव मैंशन दिस अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक यू